and welcome back. In our today's video, I am going to show you how to prepare a dynamic cost dashboard for your projects using pivot tables and slicers. For instance, if I click any other month, for example October, the whole project cost dashboard will change. This will show you the cost in this specific month for all the cost categories. Besides that, what are the percentages of those costs for that specific month? You can go up and down and select other months as well. In addition, you can see the cost of each cost category for all the months. For example, let's select steel and let's select all the months. As it's shown here, the value for the cost of steel for each single month is given. This one is for example for February, for March and so on. For your information, this dashboard was created from the information provided in this table. As you can see, it's a long list of items and months and their associated costs given here. If you were going to filter out the cost for something in a specific month, it will take you a lot of time. But using this dashboard, it won't take you so long. So how do we create such dashboards in Microsoft Excel? For haste in our work, I copied this table from the table sheet we already prepared. I will take this sheet to the right here. In order to be able to analyze the table, first of all, you should convert that table to a table using a specific function. How is that done? First of all, let's select all the values in this table. We will use the Control Shift, right arrow key, and down arrow key. Once all the data is selected, you can press Ctrl plus T and then click OK. The data will be converted to a table. Now we will use a simple version of the table. We will go to Insert and then Pivot Table. We will select the table that we want to create a pivot table of. Ctrl Shift down arrow key and press OK and it will be created to a new sheet. We will click OK. So here we are. Once the pivot table is created, we will take the cost category to the rows, the months to columns, and then the cost to the values. This is how it will be shown. We will select all this data here. We will change this to currency or maybe accounting. We will decrease the number of the decimals. Now, once this is done, what we will do, click on the table, go to Pivot Table Tools, we will insert Pivot Charts. The first type of chart that we used in that specific dashboard as well, it was the column chart. So we will click OK. I will copy this chart to a new sheet. Control C and then I will add a sheet from here and in here I will paste the chart and I will go back here. I will delete this chart from here as I already have one here. So I will press delete. Moreover, we will add another chart. Go to Pivot Table Tools, Pivot Charts. We will go to the pie charts and select the first one. Go to OK. The pie chart will be created as well. I will copy this from here and paste it into this sheet. I will leave them for now. Moreover, I will delete this. And another thing that I will add into here is the slicers. I will click again on the pivot table tools, insert slicer. One, sl one slicer will be for the cost category, another one will be for the months. We'll click OK and I will copy both of these. I will cut them and paste them into this sheet. Now I will adjust these figures and the slicers so that we can get the result as we got in here. First thing first, I will remove these buttons from here. To do that, click on the table, go to Pivot Chart Tools, 
and in here, from the field buttons, you'll hide them all. Moreover, I won't need this legend. I'll delete this as well. And I will delete these lines and this one. Furthermore, I will add the data labels. I'll click the table, go to design, and from here, add chart element, data labels, outside, end. I will do the same for the pie chart here. I'll click this, go to pivot chart tools. From here, we will hide the buttons and we will remove the legend from here. I will remove the chart title and in the design I will go to add chart element, go to data labels, more data label options. From there I will select the category name and the percentage. I will uncheck the value. The fit should be the best fit, that's okay. Close this one and close this one. I'll drag this to the right, this one as well. We will work with the slicers now. For this one we will select a different color and I will bring this to right here. Set it to the slicers height and this one as well. We will give this area an orange color as we did in the previous one. We will merge and center this right down project cost overview and once this is done click here we'll change the font color to white we will make it bold and we'll bring it to the middle increase the height for example to 26 that will be okay and here we will form a chart area remove the fill and remove the border from here same we will do for this one no fill no line close this and in view we will disable the grade lines now as this is done we will go to for example month January and as you can see all the things are given I'll remove this from here and the values are not added to this to do that, go to Design, go to Data Labels, Outside End, the values will be shown as well. So this is how you prepare a dashboard using pivot tables and slicers for your project cost tracking in Microsoft Excel. If you like the content of the video, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching.